Hi, Stephen from Mona Disown. Well, 2020 is drawing to a close, and it's been a very interesting year for laptops, but you know what? 2021 is going to be even better. Anyway, I'd like to just to qu take a quick moment to thank you for you know supporting my channel, and I want to wish you all a, you know, a Merry Christmas and all the best for, for the new year. So, you know, a question I'm getting asked a lot is, you know, if I see a deal now, is it worthwhile me taking the plunge, or shall I wait? Because, you know, these new laptops... Uh, will be you know on the horizon in fact i'm expecting them to arrive around about march time so that's not that far away so it all comes down to you know price to performance compared to what we're seeing now and, and of course there's some good deals about now for example on best buy there's a dell g7 it's a 17 inch um for 1299 dollars now it has a 300 hertz panel so that's a good panel it's got an i7 it's got rtx 2070 um, max p uh, 16 gigabytes of ram and a 512 gigabyte ssd now of course as i say that's 12.99 new but they best buy have these open boxes which you typically see for about a thousand dollars so that's a great deal isn't it i think so you're gonna ask yourself okay well what will the the new laptops bring of course well you know msi are launching the uh, new uh, msi g uh, gs 76 stealth now, that, that'll come with an rtx 3060 a 3070 a 3080 also has USB-C charging and it will be using the Intel 10th gen CPUs but it will have a 360 hertz panel so we will see these faster panels and I think we'll also see you know as electronics have already demonstrated 165 hertz QHD panels and I'm certain to see more uh, you know advanced Optimus uh, displays as well so we're going to see some good advancements on displays but of course we've got the new RTX 3000 series uh, GPUs and of course the new uh, you know amd uh, 5000 C series cpus and laptops so you know what extra performance we're going to go see there so let's have a look at the graphics cards first according to a leaked v-ray benchmark slide the rtx 3070 laptop will be just behind the desktop 2080 ti in ray tracing performance but will this be representative of standard rasterization workloads well, according to Guru 3D, the desktop 3070 was slightly faster than the 2080 Ti in ray tracing, but the non-ray tracing workloads, they are basically the same. Now, I imagine this 3070 must be a, a max P, and it's 31% faster than a 2070 Super desktop, and 59% faster than the 2070 Super in my MSI GE66. That's pretty good going, 59%. So, of course, bear in mind, if it's a max Q version, I would suspect, you know, even if we get 30 to 40% improvement from my 2070 Super Max P, that is pretty sweet, isn't it? Um, so then it comes down to, to the pricing. Now, NVIDIA did release a slide on what their target pricing would be. And, you know, they looked pretty competitive at that time. They were saying, you know, $999 for an RTX 3060, you know, paired with a Ryzen 5, 5600H or an Intel i5, an RTX 3070 going for $1,299, and an RTX 3080 starting at $1,999. So, you know, those seem quite compelling, but I personally don't think we're going to see those type of numbers. And in fact, Gigabyte uh, had a slide that was, uh, you know, leaked out um, where, you know, they released uh, seven new Intel models ranging from, you know, 12, uh, 2,026 euros for the Aorus 15G. And that only had a 3060 Max-P, all the way up to an Aero 17 HDR with an i9, and a 3080 Max-Q and a 4K panel. And that was a crazy 5,134 euros. And I think the problem we're going to be faced with is supply and demand. I mean, there's no no secret that there's been a shortage of the 4,800 uh, H CPUs, um, as well as, of course, as we know from the desktop lineup, a shortage of the RTX 3000 series. So, you know, I think prices are going to be higher than what uh, NVIDIA suggested. So in addition to the GPU performance, we may be wondering what extra can we see from these new AMD CPUs. Well, I do expect to see four AMD CPU models in a gaming laptop. We have the 5800H, which will actually have a 300Hz faster base clock than the 4800H at 3.2GHz, and a boost clock of 4.45GHz, which is actually 250MHz faster. And again, we will, these will be 35W for the HS models and 45W for the H models. I'm actually particularly excited to see the new lowered powered U series lineup. The 5800U has a faster single core performance than the i9 10980HK and its multi-core performance is just behind the i9 9880H. 
Even the Ryzen 5 5500U, which is a 6-core CPU, matches the previous 8-core 4800U. If we can see these 15-watt parts in a gaming laptop, imagine the battery life we would get. Now the 5800H has a similar single core score as its 15 watt counterpart, but I don't expect its multi-core performance to be much better than the 4800H CPU. Intel of course will also have their Tiger Lake 11th fair gen H series CPUs. Now I do expect them to be available around March time as well. So finally, Intel would finally move from that 14 nanometer plus 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 node to uh, 10 nanometer, which should you know, improve uh, thermals. So what laptops can we expect to see? Well, there's been a few leaks already, and of course there's gonna be even more announced in January. So let's have a look at what we already know. Well, Acer will be launching an RTX 3080 17-inch Nitro 5 with a Ryzen 7 5800H, 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte SSD, and 144 hertz panel. And that goes for 1,948 euros, which to be honest, does seem quite good value to me. I suspect it will be an 80 watt Max-Q 3080 because you know, it only needs a 180 watt power supply. So that looks quite exciting. Now another laptop leaked is the new ASUS TUF A17 with a Ryzen 7 5800H and an RTX 3060. Now what puzzles me though is that it only ships with 8GB of RAM, no doubt in single channel, which will limit its performance, and yet again we see a mediocre panel. Now at least it's 144Hz and not 120Hz, but it does have quite a poor colour gamut. So to answer the $6 million question, do I buy a laptop now or do I wait? Well, I, I honestly think if you see a good deal not like that Dell, I think it's worthwhile going for something like that. You know, particularly if you need a laptop now, you know, if you can wait six months and see, you know, stocks coming in and the prices coming down a bit on the new stuff, then that's fine. Because, you know, we're definitely going to get some improvements. As I say, you're probably going to at least see 40% improvement here, you know, but it all comes down to the pricing and the supply and demand there. So anyway, uh, put in your comments below what you think. And again, have a good Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye now.